Friday, July 30th. I'm Mark Osea, and it's time to get loaded. Research in Motion is rumored to launch an iPhone and Android killer. The next BlackBerry smartphone could launch as early as next week and could be the first to ship with BlackBerry's latest OS 6 software to offer multi-touch and an updated browser. Speculation is that it will have a slide-out QWERTY keyboard and a large touchscreen. Google is starting to use location-aware ads. The company is using geo-targeted mobile display ads for iPhone and Android. Advertisers can choose if they want their ads to be geo-enabled when viewed in the mobile browser or apps. A double arrow will open the ad to show the business location on a map. From there, you can choose to get directions or call. Samsung has two new cameras coming to their fall lineup. One is a pocket camera with Wi-Fi that shoots 14 megapixels and directly uploads to YouTube, Picasa, and Facebook. It also shoots 720p video and has a 3-inch touchscreen priced at $250. Samsung's HMX E10 is a new camcorder that uses a 270-degree swivel lens for taking self-portraits and photos from odd angles. It's designed similar to the Flip and uses a touchscreen and records 1920 by 1080 video. It's priced at $200 and both cameras are due out in September. LG will have an Android tablet ready for the holidays. LG announced their Optimus Z smartphone for Korea and also mentioned that an Android tablet would launch in the fourth quarter of this year. The company showed off a Windows 7 tablet at Computex, but now Android could be the only OS on the new tablet. T-Mobile USA is ranked first in customer care. JD Power and Associates released their U.S. wireless customer service care performance study based on a survey of 9,690 customers. The survey has AT&T finishing second, which surprises me considering my awful experience with their customer care. Verizon was third and Sprint Nextel came in last. The study asked customers to rate their level of satisfaction with each carrier. Those are all your headlines for today, and before I sign off, I just want to congratulate Natalie Del Conti for giving birth to a happy, healthy baby boy. She'll be on maternity leave for the next few months, so Jeff Bacalar and myself will be covering in the meantime. I'm Marco Seo with CNET TV. Thanks for watching.